one chance in a lifetime to make it. A chance for him to make a lot of things for his family, to get a lot of things for his wife. And uh, I'm sure he, he knows what he has to do, and he's ready. It's scheduled for 15. Most people feel it will not go seven. And Ali is an obvious favorite. But Shavers has the power, if he can put two big punches together, he says, to win the title. Both men are starting out with a very good jab. Ali's got a good flicking jab. And uh, Shavers is trying to use a good stiff hard jab. Ali is three inches taller, but their reach equal at 80 inches. Although it appears Ali has more arm span. Shavers is starting a pattern. He's throwing small shots, keeps the shots to the body, and soon he will come with the right hand over the top. He's trying to get Ali to lower his hands a little bit so he comes with the right hand over the top. different from Ali in this first minute. Uh, yeah, no, he's setting a pattern. He's trying to fill out Shavers and find out what he's going to do. Shavers is also, he's setting a definite pattern that's stated before. He's throwing a small shot to the body and just put one right hand over the top, hoping to catch Ali off guard. Ali constantly moving to his left. Which is definitely his older pattern. Right hand, but it was a reaching right hand and not a full impact on the chin of Ali. Ali's corner is howling for some boxes trying to get it put in again. Through Bandini Brown in the corner of Ali can be heard in the background as he shouts encouragement. But it's really Angelo Dundee who does most of the serious talking in that moment. I don't know, I think Bandini is kind of like a spiritual thing to Ali. He keeps him going, he's kind of a good luck thing. Bandini is the cheerleader and when it comes down to strategy, it's more likely to be Dundee. Final minute of round one. You'll also notice Ali is not used to getting jabbed at. He's a very good jabber, but he doesn't like to accept a jab back. So he's trying to jab like he hit. And he tried to, if so, he'll try to also counter off the of Chambers jab. It's been a fairly stationary Muhammad Ali in round one. He's not done much dancing. Stayed up on his toes and well spread. One thing I don't understand is that Chambers is going down. He's bucking the outside punches with his gloves. So I would think that Ali would throw one top, one shot over the top. Come with an uppercut, and the left hand from the right hand. Closing seconds of round one. Madison Square Garden in New York for the heavyweight title. Thank you. You guys are experts on CB radios. I'm not. Give me one good reason to buy General Electric. Glad to, Howard. This model has a modulation meter to show how much voice power is being broadcast. Thanks, and pal. And a noise blanker that minimizes... Others have a power mic preamp built in to increase the percentage. And GE's yeah, antenna know. warning indicator tells you if you're transmitting with enough power. They are also designed to minimize interference... GE, the name to buy in CB. ...for better isolation... I'm glad I channels, asked. Which means... To get ahead these days, you got to keep on your toes. So I've got something to keep my competition flat-footed. It's an old gold penny-pinching pump. It has 190. The gas is made to sell below my regular. And 220, the gas that sells below my premium. So if your car runs on regular or premium, my pump could save you money on quality gas. Listen, if I don't want you to go right by me, I got to do right by you. Sunoco's penny pinching pump can fill up your tank for less. That's my way of being very friendly. At the very end of that round, Ollie said to Shavers, I'm playing with you, I'm playing with you. So that round he was. Ali easily winning. They votes of all three officials in round one. Those are the official votes that you're seeing. But I don't think Ernie Shavers went into this fight. Ken North thinking how point Muhammad Ali. No, he didn't. His men are to try to knock him out. Ali's throwing a big flurry here, but none of the punches are going through. A few, but one out of every eight punches is going through. Now Ernie Shavers, that's a turnabout is fair play as Shavers gives a little rope of dope to Muhammad Ali, the master. Oh, a good right hand by Shaver. Now Lee is hanging on. That might have hurt more than he's indicated. 
Ernest Henry. 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 Another thing, if Shavers is listening to Ali talk, he cannot concentrate on what he's supposed to be doing. He was saying, you have got nothing, as what he just got, but not what he just made. Did he talk to you much? Uh, quite a bit. We both talk quite a bit. I said to him, you'll soon be tired. I think this is what Ali is banking on. He's hoping that the man will... Uh, Spend all of his energy, and then later on, he'll be tired. But then again, Chambers has stated that he's trained hard. He's run five, six, seven miles, and he's ready. Ali has already survived Chambers' best round. Right hand, and Ali is hurt. Ali is staggered. His eyes are glossy. Although he waved him on, it seemed more an instinctive move by Ali. Chambers doesn't follow up immediately. Ali is hurt. asked to talk about the incredible Black & Decker workmate. There's almost nothing it can't hold. But the workmate is so incredible, I'm going to let it do the talk. The workmate from Black & Decker and nobody else. When America has a job to do, it reaches for Black & Decker. Is this homeowner's insurance high? I don't know. Think it's too much? How would I know? Compare with Allstate. Compare? compare? Bring in your policy and compare rates. If you have a good deal, we'll tell you. But for many, chances are we've got a better deal. We've got a better deal. Allstate might save you some money, but you'll never know until you bring in your policy and compare. Oh, that's a good deal. <laughs> when you want to save on homeowner's insurance, yeah. <laughs> Allstate wants to help. That's a promise from us, the good hands people. Round two obviously goes to Shavers. One round apiece. The champion in the light trunks, staggered by some Shaver right hands. But the one thing people have always underestimated about Ali is that he takes a punch as well as anyone. He's a very good punch. He has a way of covering it up. He has a way of outsmarting you. He has a way of tying you up in order to conceal it. His eyes appear to be clearer than they were in the middle of that second round. That was a grazing blow. What Shavers is doing, Ali is starting to jab. He's hitting his right hand over the top of the jab, but he's also giving Ali extended out and he's connecting He's back to his pattern. He's going right hand to the body, the soft right hand. That's it, over the top of the right hand, following the jab over the lead right hand. One thing Ali has lost with age, he doesn't move back away from a punch as well as he did five years ago. Ali's definitely starting to dance now. This might be happening just to him. And again, it might be helping Shavers. He might be burning up energy. Uh, Shavers also might be getting the uh, two things that he has really hurt Ali. And he's kind of buffing on him. He's taking his confidence away. Get out of there. Get out of there. Shavers, 33. Ali, 35. But although there's only the two years difference, everyone talks about Ali as being the old man before the fight tonight. I think it's because of the fact that everyone knows that Ali dissipates more than Shea. You really don't know what the man is doing. It's mostly hearsay, mostly. You can't really believe what you read in papers and what you hear. The gray spot you see.
in the side of Ali's head. It's not gray hair. He has some rosin or some lubricant up in the hair. Vaseline. One minute remaining in round three. A respectful round by both fighters for their opponent. Get your hand that's the official time. Round three. Oh, that was a good flicking left hand. A good flicking left hand, and I think Shavers is about to move the top of the right hand. That's where you think Shaver should go, right down there. Right in the, in the bread basket, right behind the elbow. Let's get out, Shavers. Get off, get off. This is a point where Shivers doesn't respect Ali's punching power, and Ali's definitely respecting uh, Shivers. Behind the elbow! Behind the Shavers picking off most of those blows with his gloves. This is what amazes me about Ali. He's not throwing the uppercut where he can see the man's gloves on the side of his face. All in the gloves, closing seconds, round three. Who's that right here? Out the open now. Get out the open. Get out the open, Shivers. Out! Hey! For outstanding value in the luxury compact class. The new AMC Concord DL. Introducing the AMC Concord DL. A new luxury compact with no extra charge for its luxury. For no extra charge, you get a Landau roof with opera windows, color keyed wheel covers and white walls, and velour individual reclining seats. The new AMC Concord DL. The luxury Americans want. The size America needs. Sometimes all those monthly bills get to be almost too much to manage. That's where Beneficial comes in. The all-in-one loan from Beneficial is cash to clean up all or most of those bills. And chances are, extra cash left over. Just one convenient payment a month. Often smaller than those current monthly payments put together. The all-in-one loan at Beneficial, where you're good for more. At Beneficial, you're good for more. Ali wins round three and now leads two to one on all three cards. Larry? Well, this is definitely not the fight most people were expecting from Ali to this point. He hasn't been laying on the ropes. He's been just trying to beat Chavis to the punch. I think none of that's because he has more hand speed than because of the fact that Chavis is a very devastating puncher. He's good with the right hand. He's all right, let's get out of the Ali will definitely not stand on the ropes and get hit in the body. I'm wondering, Kat, knowing that Chambers has not gone beyond six rounds, but four or five times, if Ali, after being stunned, might try to box him, make him go farther into the fight, where then Ali might have the advantage. That's very true. I'm sure that this is in the back of Ali. He said, he said it before. He said, I'm trying with you, and soon you're going to be tired. But I think that he might be surprised that Chambers has been hard for this fight. He's ran hard. He's hard. Okay, you break it down. I'm in there for 4-15 rounds, unless he gets caught with a very good shot. I'm surprised though, Lee's not dancing and staying away more. One minute gone, round four. As I stated before, it's surprising that Ali is not doing the uppercut for him. He's both his hands on the side of his face, and he's blocking his wide okay, shot. So Ali should be coming up the middle. Then again, it's very easy to set out here and second guess what he meant doing in the ring. For Ali, this is his fourth, oh, he's won. Fourth richest payday, he's making $3 million tonight. Ernie Shavers, $300,000, which is more money than his other 60 fights put together. All right, we're breaking on the But for Shavers, it's just a taste. He knows what that crown would mean. It's very, he knows that 300,000 would be the $3 million. Very quickly. You don't have to be a mathematics major to figure that out. One minute left in round four. Right above our microphone. Ali has stopped talking. He caught a left hand there just as he was going to say something. Is 
slowly and perfect, turning off and chamber. He started to the body and now he's been right to the top of the head. Yeah, but it's just no good. <laughs> <laughs> when do you say Budweiser? After the corn, the chicken, oh, and the black-eyed peas. <laughs> and try this for your person, sir. Oh, thank you. When do you say Budweiser? Honey, after a few hours in this kitchen, I can't form my mouth to say anything else. Ain't that the truth? After the work is done, while you still having fun, The judges like the challenger. Lo Bianca, the referee, took the champion in round four. How does that stand now, Larry, after four? The two judges have the fight dead even two rounds apiece. The referee has it three to one for Ali. Ken Norton, you know that you don't try to beat Ali by a decision. That's very true. I think that now, Sarah's, he knows he hurt the man on, on numerous occasions. But he doesn't know to what extent he's hurt the man. He doesn't know what Ali's playing. Trying to suck him in, so definitely he's not going in. He's not going to waste his power, and he's going to bid his time. It could be helpful, and then again, it could hurt him. Lot, I mean, right now, Ali's definitely banking on the fact that so later on, Sarah's going to tire, and he can take advantage of that. I think he's been standing up straighter on his jab. In turn, it's gave the Chambers the open avenue with the right hand. Ali is going to jab. He's going to come back toward his waist. Chambers is counting at the same time. The jab is supposed to be landing. And he's beating the jab. Or he's counting over the jab. Okay, Muhammad, get your hand on One minute go. gone in round five. I think, and I'm very sure that when he goes back to the corner, Angelo Dunn is expecting him something to do to uh, warrant this offer, telling him that he's getting it with this. Because Ali is intelligent enough and smart enough boxers to find a way to beat it. As we can see here in this round, Ernie is definitely in very good shape. He's not tiring, he's not forcing the fight, and he's not wasting punches. Is this a more resourceful Chambers than you've seen before, a man who's more under control? That's very true. He has complete control of himself. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he wants to do. He's not wasting any steps. He's not wasting any energy. He's not wasting any punches. Final minute of round five. He's also a very competent Ernie Chambers. Ali scoring better with that right here left here in round five. It's more that classic left hand that we're accustomed to seeing in Ali's year since 1960. This is what he's going to have to do to win. He can't afford to set and throw the jab out because Ernie has a solution for it. He's going over the top. As long as he's moving and throwing the jab, moving to his left, he's been out of, no, out of range for uh, Shavers. Keep dipping. Keep dipping. There goes the right hand to the body, but Shaver is sitting up the right hand over the top later on in the round. Break, break, don't wrestle, Shaver, don't wrestle. Scheduled for 15, of course, and we're closing in on the end of round five. It appeared to be a good round for the boxer, Ali. Very good. Litton announces the biggest cooking breakthrough since microwave, the Litton Meal-in-One Microwave Oven. Its secret is a unique cooking system that lets you cook a complete meal. One, two, three foods, all at the same time. And it has a solid-state memory so you can just touch and cook. The new Litton Meal-in-One Microwave Oven. Taste a demonstration at your Litton dealer beginning October 1st. See how Litton is changing the way America cooks. Come on, you guys. We haven't got all day. There, there. Who are you? I'm Mother Tums. 
Tell me where it hurts. Here, it's acid indigestion, heartburn. Take Tums for the tummy. Are they strong? For neutralizing acid, Tums are one-third stronger for the money than the other leading tablet. Oh, thanks, Mother Tums. <laughs> okay, Steve, move it up. Tums, one-third stronger. There, there. A sweep from all precincts in round five for Muhammad Ali. You'll notice this is really a, I mean, pardon, this is really a different Ernie Shivers tonight. He's in complete control of himself. He knows what he wants to do. He knows when to do it. Okay, this is Mr. Vaseline on Shivers at the end of round five, and Angelo Dundee complained about it. He saw the referee wipe some off, some excess. Ali uh, invites Chambers into the corner and he says no thank you I'll try this one now why wouldn't Shavers want him pinned in the corner I don't know he'll go in eventually there we go on, on his own accord not by irritation that's just a matter of psych then is what you're saying right I think he would rather work his way in than have Ali call him in Case you join us late. And the other main event, light heavyweight Mike Rossman earned a unanimous decision over Gary Summerhays, the Canadian light heavyweight champion. One will tell you that Ali is tired. What will tell you that Ali is tired? When he gets tired, normally he'll start boxing a little bit. He'll start moving, he'll start using his legs. When he gets hurt, he'll start using his legs more. And uh, this is more of a thing where he can move and rest and kind of sock the man out. Last exchange, a good straight right to the midsection of Ali by Shavers. Close, but no cupid down on that one. Well thrown shot, Ali's, he has the very good eye, and he just pulled back just in the nick of time. Now this could be the rope of dope, but uh, Shavers won't buy it. Ali is definitely in the corner talking to him. Come on, son, this is your punch. The Shavers is not falling for it. And didn't Shavers just hurt Ali by hitting him on the arms? Uh, with his punching power, yes, he could. Right where the muscle meets the bone. But then again, he's taking a chance of hurting his own hands. For the final minute of round six. No knockdowns. Ali was shaken. From some right hands from Sabres in the second round. That's a different Ernie Sabres. Saving everything. Definitely different. He's in very complete control of himself this evening. Our trainer Frankie Luca and Blackie Gennaro, the manager, have done a good job on Shavers, who has sparred 240 rounds to get ready for this fight. He's worked very hard. That's the end of round six. Are you a denture wearer? Yes, I am. Do you use extra strength Efferdent? No, I don't. Would you try Efferdent on this denture material, badly stained with coffee? Yes, I'll try Efferdent. It looks off. I wouldn't want my dentures to look like that in between. Watch Efferdent with five cleaning ingredients attack stubborn coffee stains. In minutes, the stains are gone. It's incredible. Those terrible stains in between, they're all gone. I'm going to use Efferdent. It did a great job. Extra strength Efferdent removes even stubborn stains between teeth in minutes. Johnny's on television. Oh, especially true. Where? Especially true. Where? It's just beautifully red, white, and you'll see it clear because Bray's are makes television. Our new shorter Dynabrite tube makes a smaller dot for Quasar's sharpest, clearest picture yet. You'll see more. He needs a haircut. He does. And before, because Quasar makes television special again. The challenger comes back to win round six. How does that make the cumulative stand, Larry? Well, the both judges still have an even three rounds apiece. The referee, John Lobianco, has Ali ahead four rounds to two. Your head up, it's interesting. The two judges at ringside see it exactly the same, while the man who is closest to the action has Ali in front. He has a pretty commanding personality. That includes Turn a right, right hand there, Dick. Great right hand. A short right hand, and it shows, again, the power of Shavers. He didn't throw that from too far away. 
You notice again, the only time it lands when Ali is, st is still, he's a stationary target. He's throwing a jab, he's pulling back, and Shepard is leading in. Okay, we break again now, please. Get that hand off the next. Grand Lo Bianca asking the fighters very politely to break. One thing we all know that champions are mortal. They're like baseball managers. When they're hired, they know one thing. They'll eventually someday be fired. And someday Muhammad Ali will not be champion. And I think Ernie Shaver is, certainly has given his backing, the backing of the underdogs, some hope tonight. That's a true statement. It's only for certain things, the championship is only borrowed. Ali missing with a right hand, and Shaver's countered with a smile. You can't be so. This is round seven. Remember that Shaver's had his 60 fights this distance only six times, more than six. And it's Ali opening up. That was kind of a serious rope to rope up there. Got hit with quite a few punches, came back smiling. Very good shot. A good right hand. Ali had landed a good right hand, but Shavers countered over that right hand. He got to the I have it getting it off Final minute of round seven. Counter with another good right, two good right hand. Okay, I'll be open. Get off. I'll be open. Let's go. Ali is hurt. He's in the party. Oh, come, come on. This is a tactic to take a little breather. Ali's feet look heavy at the end of round seven. Round eight coming up. Dear Germany, you make the best beer in the world. Dear France, your champagne is first rate. Dear England, your tea is the best there is. And dear Japan, your color TVs are the standard worldwide. Signed, Italy. Ah, P.S. We'll make the sports cars. A reminder, this Sunday, October 2nd, full slate of regional football action comes your way on NBC following NFL 77 at 12.30 Eastern Time. It'll be then followed by the baseball action, and what a series coming up, Joe. We open it up Tuesday night, the playoffs. It'll open up in Los Angeles, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. The Dodgers <laughs> at the Philly Dodgers Stadium. It looks like a real battle, Dick. And there's Mrs. Laverne Shavers, lovely wife of Ernie. She's calm and poised now, but they say she'll root with the best of them. We go to round eight, the midpoint of this fight. Shavers has already pulled a lot of the boxing scribes. They thought he would be tired by round seven and beginning to uh, lag behind. Ali with a slight lead. Shavers certainly has landed the heavier blows. Good move by Shavers trying to turn the man to the side and hook to the body. Good stiff jab by Shavers that got through. Ali going into his peekaboo here in round eight. This is a conscious attempt by Ali to make this a rest round to just pace himself, force Shavers into longer distance. Uh, yes, it is, but then again, it's, it's, it's an effort to make Shavers try to burn some energy up, throw body shots, do something to burn that energy up so that Ali can take advantage later on in the fight. But Shavers is uh, falling for this tactic of Ali's, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's making a dog fight at the present time. 
fast, but I'm sure that later on the round, Ali's going to start, he's going to start flurrying, and then uh, Shepard's going to try to come up with a good hook on an overhand right again. Quick left hands by Ali. Final minute of round eight. They're very good shots, Bobby, but there aren't, there's nothing behind them. They're speedy shots. Close catch to the eye of the judges and referee and help you to win rounds, but they're not hurting too. At present time, Ernie looks like he's, he's doing very well. He's not getting tired as yet. He looks like he's preserving his energy very well. And he's picking the shots as he did early in the fight. You can bet that Ali is watching his, his breathing. He's watching Ernie's uh, movement. If there's any difference, Ali will definitely take advantage of it. Two seconds left in round eight. And for many around the world, a surprise that Ernie Shavers is still battling Ali to this distance. Most felt it would be long over. At the end of round eight, let's follow Ernie Shavers to his corner. He sits down while Ali across the way refuses to sit down. Ali is taunting the crowd now, some of them booing him, and he's reacting to the fans. And back to Ernie Shavers. Little uh, bruise above the nose on the bridge of the nose. At the same time that Shavers is under control, he's falling behind in the fight. He's going to have to get a little out of control to take command. He is. He's going to have to exert the pressure. When Ali goes to the corners, goes to the ropes, he's going to have to throw the body punches and kind of initiate the action. You're allowed a modicum amount of lubricant on your face, and they'll towel some of it off. If there's too much, then the referee will ask for it to be wiped away. Wipe right there by the ropes to cheer on Ernie Shavers. Ali has played with the crowd. A critical round, round nine, and we'll check the scoring in round eight. Oh, Shavers wins two of the three votes. Now there is the case in New York State where you're penalized if you're not the aggressor, and Ali certainly was not, although he seemed to land as many punches, if not more, than Shavers. He landed quite a few punches with the group. No, they were flurry punches, they were speedy punches. There wasn't any uh, zip on them, any power on them. He was doing them more for flash than for effect. One good thing about Shavers is no matter what happens, if he gets tired during the fight, any time in the round, he can't hit you with a good shot and hurt you. Okay. Again, back in round two, Shavers staggered Ali with a couple of right hands. The most serious blows landed by Shavers, and he stayed in the fight. And we're in round nine. Ali has not piled up the big lead in rounds, and Shavers still represents that ever-present threat of the big right hand. Right now, Ali is toying with the man, trying to put his confidence, trying to make him do something unexpected, trying to make him make mistakes. is even 80 inches apiece. Ali feigning that he was hurt by that last okay, ball. You can see it didn't land. As you stated before, the reach is the same, impossible the same. I think this is what's puzzling Ali. He's not even fighting a man who's with the same reach as a shorter person. <laughs> Shiver's <laughs> being warned, what, for a kidney punch? No, he had the rope and he popped it back off the rope. On the springboard. Okay. Okay. Very unusual move. Right above us, Ali talking constantly to Shavers. Let's see if we can pick that up. Shavers waiting like a cobra in a basket to get that right hand home. Oh, 
That was a good throw there, punch. I'd say that eight out of ten of those punches were on the outside of the hands of the glove. We're not effective. Rick again. That's good dog dressing for the officials. Shut up, Jeff. About to go to round ten. A war had hurt him. He got his arm and his leg blown off. He thinks it was my fault. And only an act of love would help him heal. I didn't take an inventory. And if I had, I would have noticed that what you are missing is a brain. Lee Majors, James Stacy, and Barbara Hershey star in Just a Little Inconvenience. If I could do that, I could do anything. Yeah, pretty good considering the handicap. <laughs> handicap? Well, you mean this. There's no handicap. It's just a little inconvenience. A big event, Sunday at 9, 8 Central, right after Disney's Treasure of Matacombe. In that last round, Ryan nine, nine, here's that flurry by Ali, Ken. As you can see, most of the punches are going the outside. The only punches that land on Chambers are the ones up the middle. The other punches are hitting the outside of the glove, and they're drawing the man, but then, uh, they're having no effect on the man. As you, as you saw, he came back with the overhand right trying to land up on Ali after the flurry. Morning buzzer prior to round 10. Remember that Ernie Shavers has never gone beyond 10, and he's only been this distance a handful of times. There's the scoring. Ali winning two of three. There you go. There you go, Jeff. Shavers has fought a very intelligent fight and seems to have plenty saved for Ali here in round 10. Ali's starting to move more now with his left hand, and as Shavers is throwing the overhand right, he's turning slightly to the side, he's making the right hand go over his shoulder. As long as he's mobile, he can do this. When he stops, he's immobile. He's very, very stationary. It's very easy for Shavers to catch him with the right hand. Ali countering well here in this first minute of round 10. was more of a push than a good solid ball. But Ali is finding the acorns a tough nut to crack. Shaver scoring. This is what Ernie must do more of. He must go behind the elbow and try to tire Ali out of there. Ernie's a very devastating puncher. He should take advantage of it. Halfway through round 10. No knockout. Right hand just a little short. Ali able to rock back with it. That's very true. And you saw Ali try a left uppercut. At that time, he was on the left uppercut. Shivers threw a left hook. Okay. No marks on either man, with the exception of a slight bruise on the bridge of the nose of Ernie Shavers. Battle minute of round 10. Good left hand by Ali. That may be his best punch of the fight. Very good curve by Ali. Ali punches up the middle. Good right hand by Shaver. Will be his legs. When he starts to tire, he will start to stumble a bit. That cut on the bridge of the nose has opened a bit, or Shavers has cut somewhere else. No, it is the nose, just a slight trickle of blood. Bernie Shavers has survived 10 rounds. For the Eight hours and four minutes. Amazing. Nine hours and six minutes. Fantastic. Vic Sinex long-acting nasal spray is amazing. It can quickly have you breathing as easily as someone with no congestion problem. And then it decongests up to ten hours. Tied up. What you... Ten hours? Incredible. The game? No, my nasal spray. Vic Sinex long-acting. Incredible. As we go to round 11, here is Ernie Shavers and that right hand and how well Ali rolls with a punch. 
very well. That was a very hard punch. It was very smartly rolled by Ali. And then again, the man is very smart. He got hit with a good shot, and he covered up right off the bat. He didn't stand and try to fight back. He didn't try to uh, move around. He just covered. Ten rounds in the book. Ali wins all three cards in round ten. And Larry Merchant, how does that make it for the fight? Ali's ahead on all the cards. 6-4, six, 6-4 four, six, four by the judges. 6-3 and 1 by the referee. Something very humorous about this fight is the fact that Ali went to the corner of that round, between the rounds, rather. Bodini's hand was really shaking when it took the mouth kick out. Bernie Shavers has given the champion much more than he expected through 10. And Shavers opening up in round 11. His manager, Frankie Lucas, said we're going to try to score with a lot of singles, load the bases, and go for a grand slam. And it appears Shavers has that right hand cocked and ready to go. The man can definitely punch him. And that one exchange that they both were breaking right hands. All if you want is Shavers count with a good right hand. Ollie's starting to move more now. Now he's facing the right hand. Okay, Shavers, back up. Hang on a little bit. Hang on. Get One thing we haven't seen is yet is Shavers is hooked. He has a very good hook. He has a very good right uppercut. So far, it's been a straight right between the job. The right hand over the top. Okay, we're hooking him. Out. Shavers out. Now, what is the advantage that Ali has, Kendall, knowing that Shavers has never gone beyond 10 and he's done it so many times? The advantage is knowing that he can do it and not knowing, not knowing when Shavers can do it or not. And the Ali's smart enough to know what he has to do to last 15 rounds. And Shavers has never won 15 rounds before. So therefore, he, he might have extended some too far. And Ali is, I think, banking on this later on in the fight. On the other hand, I think Shepard is very confident that he can go 50 rounds. Because as I stated before, he's ran hard, he's trained hard, and mainly he's prepared for this fight. The thing you have to wonder about is whether he's so determined to go 15 that he may lose the fight and move to the 15. He's got to start doing something. Yeah, that's a very good statement. <laughs> there it is. Good right hand. Didn't get all of Ali, but he felt it. I think mean, anything that Shepard's hit you with, you will feel. The object isn't to go 15, it's to win. Keep 30 seconds left in round 11. Oh, that's a beautiful execution of the left jab by Ali. And he followed it with a good hook. Sabres is way in that time in his show, trying to get position to the right hand. scoring by Ali at the end of round 11. When do you say Budweiser? After doing this about 3,000 times a day. After a hard tennis match with my friend Ron. As soon as I knock this ball out of the park. When do you say Budweiser? It's everywhere. When my mother-in-law leaves town. <laughs> after a long night in here. Or when you say Budweiser. Let me hear you say it, people. Budweiser! You have said it all. Ken, we're going to say that right hand again from Shavers. Definitely a good right hand. The man has a lot of power behind it. It's a good straight right hand. And it caught Ali with his chin going to the left, where normally he'd like to back away with his chin going the other direction. That could have caught him just right. Uh, right. I think Ali was was caught a little off guard then because of the fact that his chin was on the left-hand side. And here's Shaver's wife again rooting, me on, rooting him on. She has to be very proud regardless of the outcome tonight. Her husband has won some fans with his effort against the champion. Four rounds to go. Ali winning all three cards in 11. And now it's almost going to take a Shaver's sweep of the last four rounds or a knockout to win the title. Very good shots, Bobby. Some of them are hitting the gloves, but some of them are also getting through. The jabs are okay, they're like pepper jabs. Right on the bridge of the nose where the cut is. Keep 
it has to be very annoying. Is it because Ali seems to be moving better, or is it true that perhaps Shavers finally looks a little slow? His feet aren't moving quite as uh, brightly as they were earlier. He's not as quick as before. He's more of a stationary target now, and Ali is definitely taking advantage of it. His head's in the same spot. Ali knows where it's going to be, and that's what he has to do to hit him. One minute gone. Round 12. No knockdown. Shavers' best blows landed back in the second round. And I think the pattern of this round is going to be Ali started out very quickly. He's going to close through the middle part of the round. The last 10 seconds, he's going to throw a furry and try to see the judge's eye. Good left hand by Shavers. picking off the rest of the punches with the gloves, but even at that right above us, you can see the impact even off the glove of Ali, of that right hand of Shaver. That's what he picked off some of those punches. That double right hand, second right hand, a really good shot. It got through the defense of Ali. You know, as long as Ali's moving, Shavers can't hit him. He prefers a stationary target. Final minute, round 12. You can see some redness in the face of Shavers. Slight move on the bridge of the nose. Ali typically okay, a red face, but that's about it. That's more from the exercise than from any blow. Look for it, Ali, but then again, Shavers counter with the right hand earlier in the round. 30 seconds left in round 12. Good right hand by Ali. The champion seems to be much more in command here in round 12. Very good counter right hand by Ali. One of the few wild punches thrown by Sabres tonight, and Ali took immediate advantage. Okay. This coming Sunday, October 2nd, a full slate of regional football action here on NBC following NFL 77 at 1230. New England and the Jets, the Steelers and the Browns, Buffalo, Baltimore, other NFL activity, Denver, Seattle, Houston, Miami, Cincinnati, San Diego. And after the action, NFL 77 brings you all the key scores and highlights. That's this Sunday on NBC. Angelo Dundee, some feel the best trainer in the business. Bundini Brown to the left of Ali. And it has to be now a more confident corner than, say, five rounds ago. Got some baseball scores for you. The Red Sox beat Toronto 7-3. To the Orioles over the Tigers 6-3. to three. The Yankees are 4-1. to one. That's the last score we have. Final. Lost. They lost 4-1. to one. So they still... All right, the line. magic number of one. The Yankees' magic number is one. Ali again, a full sweep. That's three straight rounds that Ali has taken the scores on all three cards. Three to go for Sabres. He now must win by knockout. Oh, oh good right hand. Ali. That was a vicious right hand, and Ali's knees buckled. He holds on. How hurt is he? And now he'll try to rope it up and try to recover. He's a very smart man. Shavers doesn't seem to know where he wants to go following up on that right hand. This is the difference between the 13th round and maybe the 6th round. Shavers maybe doesn't have the energy to follow up on a damaging blow. I don't think it's not, he doesn't have the energy. He's too confident in his uh, punching power. He knows he hurt the man with one punch. And he's probably been programmed doing his training uh, procedure with the one punch and not expend his energy. It's kind of like a condition reflex now, not to use it. Two minutes left in round 13. Ali appears to be okay. Ali can take a very good punch and he has very good recuperative powers. We saw him in the Fraser fight get hurt and come back. We saw him in numerous other fights get hurt and come right back. And you broke his jaw. And he stayed with him. 
but we don't know when, do we? He says one, I say 12. Then we had Chevers Corner hard that he was too right high with the right hand countering back. And he lowered it, and it was right on the button. Not a good round for Savers, but he needs to follow up. He trails on points to the champion here in round 13. You got the winner, Mahomes. Oh, oh, great right hand. Follow up again with 30 seconds left in round 13. That's the one good thing that Chambers has going for him in this fight. No matter what happens, he still has his punching power. He can always reach with one good punch any time during the fight. But time's running out. Two rounds left after this one. Ali survives 13. Best Shavers round, perhaps, since early in the fight. Here we go, the Ernest Shavers flurry here. He comes over with a good right hand, right on the right side, left hand side of Raleigh's face. And he tries to follow up with a good body shot, I think. It stopped on me. Okay, here's the second flurry. Another good right hand, over the top, right on the button, which proves that Ali can take a very oh, good shot. Can he ever? And when you write all of the great things that Muhammad Ali has done in his boxing career, that has to stand out. The, the men at ringside know that uh, Ali, probably as well as any champion in history, is able to take a man's best shot. That's very true. Earlier in his career, the, the, the rap was that Ali cannot take a good shot. He can do this, but he got knocked down a few times. So they wrapped him about it. But I think in his later years, he has proven that he's also a good fighter, and he can also take a very good shot as well as any heavyweight champion we've had in the past. Well, he's needed to be a good catcher tonight. Shavers takes all of the cards in 13. Two rounds to go. Larry, do you have them totaled at this point? How does the referee and two judges see it at this stage? Shavers would have to knock him out to win this fight. Ali can lose the last two rounds by the referee and the two judges and still remain champion. Whether Shavers knows that or not, we don't know ourselves. But Ali, acting as though he thinks he can put Shavers away. He's doing very good combinations with very good speed, and they're all landing. Ernie's still waiting for that one good shot. He stays in the shell and he comes back with a hard shot. He's a little slow with his punches, as you can see. This is what Ollie was waiting for, for his hands to and his experience to take over. One minute gone, round 14. No knockdowns in the fight. Ali winning on points. Shavers has scored the heavier blows, but Ali able to stay on his feet and weather those few storms. Break now. But for a man who had the reputation of being knockout or not finished, oh, there it is, Ali is down for the fifth time I think he's in slipped. his career. Ali talking oh, no, with the referee, slip. John Lopiagano, they're going to call it a slip. They started the count. The mandatory eight count is in effect here in New York, so that was a slip. They started the count. You can notice in this flurry, Ali's trying to block his right hand with his shoulder. Every time Shivers goes over hand right, he's trying to roll his shoulder and make the punch block glance the off. There's still plenty of dynamite in Shavers' punches. One minute remaining in round 14. One of Ali's tactics Shivers is using there. Exciting round. Half minute down in round 14. Shavers running out of desperation, looking for that lightning in the bottle. That was a good right hand by Shavers. Another good right hand. And Ali 
Ali is hanging on. Final seconds, round 14. Hurt. Ali looks hurt. He's definitely hurt. Three minutes to go. Muhammad Ali held back to the corner by Angelo Dundee. And he'll sit down this time. And we're going to check that action in round 14. First the slip. As Ali pushing himself off Sabres, obviously was not down from the force of a blow. But others landed that could have dropped the champion, and here are some of those. Another good right hand by Sabres, not on the button. Ali was definitely hurt, but if you notice now that he is hurt, he still covers up, he knows what to do, he knows how to outsmart the man, he's tying him up to make sure that he doesn't get caught with another good shot. This is where your experience tells over, or takes over. It's a big round from Sabres, but even though he probably won the round, that isn't going to be enough. We go to the final three minutes, Larry. In retrospect, you wonder if he wasn't so concerned about going the 15, he didn't wait too long to start coming on. No one thought he'd be in here at 15, but we're to the last three minutes of the fight. No matter what happens, Ernie Sabres is definitely surprised the boxing world. There won't be too many men waiting in line to fight Sabres the next time out. He's proven he's tough. A good right hand by Sabres. And Sabres still looking for the championship. If he can put together a flurry and put the champion away. But no one's ever been able to do that. Good right hand by Sabres. Sabres obviously won 14. He's won the last two rounds, but Ali may know that he has the decision to just stay on his feet. I'm certain Sabres knows what kind of predicament he's in. This is the last round. He knows what he has to do and he knows he has the power to do it. I'm sure he's going to go all out. One minute gone. One minute gone. Two to go. Away. And he came back with a good hook. Shavers the predator. Ali trying to survive. Escape this 15th round. We're at the halfway mark. 130 left. Good luck hand by Ali. Trying to ward off Shavers. Good luck hand by Shavers. on its feet at the Garden in New York. And regardless of the outcome, they've seen a whale of a heavyweight fight. The hook ball, he's trying to drag hook. A savvy game champion in the final minute against a ferocious challenger who's given Ali a better fight than anyone expected except the Sabres camp. has survived 15 much too well. Ali well, hurt him with a hook at that time. Sabres hit Ali with the hook. 30 seconds left. And everybody in the area is on their feet. of the referee, Lobianca, the judges, Mr. Casolano, and Ms. Shane. And I'm sure many of those here in the garden feel that Ernie Shavers has won the fight. We have given you the official scorecards of the two judges and referee throughout the night. So some of the drama of the decision is taken. But the reaction is going to be obvious, and there's doubt in most of the minds of the thousands here at the Garden tonight. 
Muhammad Ali, not down but hurt. Ernie Shavers going 15, totally un unexpected, but hurt himself in the final seconds of the 15th round. And for Ken Norton and others, hope by the other challengers that Ali is close to losing that crown. Larry, as we await the decision, you have to anticipate a reaction from this crowd. I think many of the folks rooting for the underdog and perhaps seeing with their hearts and not their eyes think Shavers have won. I have, I have two observations here, Dick. One is you saw the great fighting heart and competitive, competitiveness of Ali at the end of that fight. When he was really hurt, he was rocked, and yet he took charge of the last 30 seconds. He says, I'm still the boss in here. But I think you're going to see... When and if Ali gets the decision, as we expect, you're going to see a tremendous uproar from Shaver's camp. They think they have won this fight. And, of course, you get the one chance, and sometimes the others don't come for a long, long time. Shaver's goes to Ali's corner to congratulate him on a great fight and certainly one of the touching moments of this game, a very rough, sometimes brutal game as the, the love and affection that fighters earn from one another after battling for 10 or 15. And Shavers is a tired fighter, as you might imagine. Ali the same. Shavers wobbly as he is held back from the Ali corner by his cornerman. Shavers reminds you of the miler who, when he gets to the tape, he collapses. He gave everything he had, and at the very end, he looked like he had nothing left. He paced himself exactly. Here's a man again who had gone more than six rounds only seven times, never beyond 10, and he was on his feet at 15 and giving Ali all that he wanted, the champion of the world. We're still waiting for the final tabulation and the okay from the New York Athletic Commission of the scoring of the two judges and referee and, of course, the drama that will ensue here in ring circle when the announcement is made by Jack Lee. Larry, is there any doubt in your mind, though, and in some ways it's, it's sad, I suppose, for those who followed Ali, much as the sadness that accompanied Joe Lewis when he came back after retirement. And Ezra Charles, uh, 27 years ago this week in New York City, defeated the aging champion Joe Lewis. You can see it coming for Muhammad Ali. Well, I think Ali retired as an athlete about two years ago. He's fighting as a businessman now. He can make so much money by fighting these fights that it's just impossible for him for him to walk away from it. You can hardly blame him. And yet the great fighters, Dempsey, Robinson, Joe Lewis, they all lost, uh, and yet they have retained their great aura of their great legends. Well, Ali still has the pretty image, and he is a, a beautiful athlete. He won the gold medal in the Rome Olympics as a light heavyweight. Turned pro in late 1960, won the title in 1964 from Sonny Liston. Shortly after that, changed from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali. Then the Vietnam situation, retirement for three years, came back in Zaire to take the title back from George Foreman. And now defense for his 19th time tonight against Ernie Shavers. Here is the official announcement of the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the scoring of tonight's 15-round heavyweight fight Judge Eva Shane scores the fight nine rounds, Ali, six rounds, Shavers. Judge Tony Castellano, nine rounds, Ali, six rounds, Shavers. Referee Johnny Lobianco, nine rounds, Ali, five rounds, Shavers, one even, the winner. And still champion of the world, the one and only, Muhammad Ali. There you have it, 9-6, 9-6, 9-5, and one even. The Shavers camp and the, those who cheer the underdog, unhappy with the decision. With a game challenger, here's Larry Merchant.